Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll discuss about Nmap. So, Nmap is short for Network Mapper. It's a free and open source utility for network discovery and security auditing. Many systems and network administrators also find it useful for tasks such as network inventory, managing service upgrade schedules, and monitoring host or service uptime. It was designed to rapidly scan large networks but works fine against single hosts. So ethical hackers are using this tool for their or for reconnaissance or for them to acquire more information against their target host. Nmap uses raw IP packets to determine first what hosts are available on the network. Second is what services those hosts are offering so application name and version third is what operating systems they are running and like os versions fourth is what type of packet filters or firewalls are in use and dozen of other characteristics so nmap will run on a windows system however it generally works better and is faster under linux so the recommended platform is linux so um Basically, we are using Kali Linux, so that's fine. And knowing this information as a hacker or security expert is an important step in identifying any weaknesses a system may have and the potential exploit that can be used. At a practical level, um, Nmap is used to provide detailed real-time information on your networks and on the devices connected to them. The primary uses of Nmap can be broken into three core processes. First is the program gives you detailed information on every IP active in your networks and each IP can then be scanned. This allows administrators to check whether an IP is being used by a legitimate service or by an external attacker. Secondly, Nmap provides information on your network as a whole. It can be used to provide a list of live hosts and open ports, as well as identifying the OS of every connected device. So thirdly, Nmap has also become a valuable tool for users looking to protect personal and business websites. Using Nmap to scan your own web servers, particularly if you're hosting your website from home, is essentially simulating the process that a hacker would choose to attack your site. Let's begin with the Nmap app. So you will see target specification, host discovery, um, other techniques, OS detection, and other options needed for the Nmap to work against your target host and output. So let's do if config. So we have ETH0 and ETH1. ETH0 is connected to internet and ETH1 is our VMware. So that's NATed in our VMware. So we have a vulnerable machine that we will try to do Nmap. So let's try Nmap 192.168.1.0. That 126.131, that that's the IP of our Kali Linux. Okay, and you'll see the output, the Nmap version, the, the time, the IP, and then the 1000 ports. I mean, if you're using Nmap by default, it will scan the 1000 well known ports. And one of the most basic functions of Nmap is to identify active hosts on your network. So Nmap does this by using a ping scan. So to run a ping scan, so let's do nmap-sp and 182.168.126.0.24. That's our subnet. So you will see the, the active hosts or the hosts that are up. That one, that two, that one, two, nine, 
to buy for um, okay let's try to end map to our vulnerable host it's a uh, end map 192.168.126.129 right so you will see the output of the the regular end map we have the IP the 1000 ports that uh, are being scanned so the, those are well-known ports we have the port state and the services right port state and services now let's quickly discuss the port state we have open closed filtered unfiltered open filtered and closed filtered then in this example we have open which means an application is actively accepting TCP connections and finding these is often the, prim the primary goal of port scanning right then we have the security minded people know that each open port is an avenue for attack so we have to fix those open ports if they are not needed right we have to close them and then we have the closed state a closed port is accessible I mean it receives and responds to nmap probes packets but there is no application listening on it because closed port are reachable it may be worth scanning later in case some open up administrator may want to consider blocking such port with a firewall then they would appear in the filtered state which will be discussed in the next which is the filtered state Nmap cannot determine whether the port is open because packet filtering prevents its probe from reaching the port. So the filtering could be from a dedicated firewall device. Router rules or host-based firewall software. These ports frustrate attackers because they so have little information. Next is unfiltered. The unfiltered state means that the port is accessible but Nmap is unable to determine whether it is um, open or closed. Only the acknowledge scan or ECK scan, which is used to map firewall rule set, classifies ports into this state. Then we have also the open filtered. Nmap places ports in this state when it is unable to determine whether a port is open or filtered. This occurs for scan types in which open ports give no response and the lack of response could also mean that a packet filter dropped the probe or any response is elicited and last is closed filtered this state is used when the, the nmap is unable to determine whether a port is closed or filtered it is only used for the ipi id idle, idle scan and how can we scan multiple targets we have command for multiple targets we have nmap then space the uh, IP address uh, let's try 182.168.106.1 or any IP then the other IP that you want to scan 182.168 that 126 any number 129 or that 254 see when you're looking at the result you will see a two result this one and the other one right Now, how can we scan address range? We have nmap, then the IP address, the starting, one to let's try 140. 
then it will scan all the IP address from 192.168.126.1, the 2, the 3, the 4 to 140. Right? So we have that one, that two, that two for the domain. One two nine, then one three one. Right? So, how can we now scan a whole subnet? So, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's just nmap 182.168. That one two six that zero slash twenty four. Right? You will see all the active host or target. right then our next is how can we scan list of targets so for example let's create a file touch target okay the the, the name of the file target ip or any name then let's echo or if you want any method uh, for me echo 192.168.106.129 to target ip or the file name okay then let's try to add one more okay that's the content of the target ip let's try to add one more ip Let's echo 192.168.126.131 Let's append so that it will not override Then let's add also a range 192.168.126.1 to 128 Let's try 128 Okay, then this is the content of the target IP file. To do a scanning for the list of targets, it, let's do nmap. Then we have the option dash i capital L. Then the file name, target IP. All right. And you will see the output again, right? The port state, the service, the IP, right? Then, how can we exclude target on scan? So, for example, if you have a router, you have uh, uh, other hosts that you wanted to exclude when you were scanning, let's do nmap. 182.168.126.0/24. Let's do the whole subnet for our network, and then dash dash exclude what whatever IP you want to exclude. Uh, let's try the 182.168.126.131. The IP of this machine, I mean the Kali. Then. If you compare the output on the subnet scan with this, you will not see the 192.168.126.131, right? Right? You're not seeing the in output. Let's try to do a solution on the dot two five four.
it should not appear on the result of the scan right you will see, you are seeing the dot one three one only i mean the dot one three one on the last part because previously it's it was dot two five four so nmap has a special flag to activate aggressive detection uh, so we have the dash a option which means aggressive mode enables os detection dash o version detection dash sv script scanning dash sc uh, and many more like tracer which mo this mode sends a lot of more probes and it's more likely to be detected but pro provides a lot of valuable host information so you can you can try it and it's still loading right because it is probing so much information to the, our target host and you will see the difference of the result with the aggressive and the normal end map it's taking so long because we are still it's still acquiring more information it's aggressive because we have to be careful using the aggressive it will be detected by our server or our target host and it's illegal if you're doing this in a production without VPN connection see you will you will see the IP addresses the OS right the state and the more granular more further information needed to further exploit the system right you will see version so in this video we will not discuss the advanced end map or scanning because uh, in we have the separate video for that and for now we will uh, focus on the basic commands thank you for listening everyone and see you on our next video